Kistis und Riste Agnus Jekungen. Eivor, hello. Another dark day clouds our victory. Bishop. Uber. Dead at the hands of a Briton. I cannot imagine the shame my brother felt in his final hour. Were it not for this peace, I killed him. You! After peace was made, Ivar murdered Chelbelt and pinned the crime on Rotary to get another swing at him. How do you come to know this? He told me himself. I am always one who desires the truth, Eivor, but this... This is a hard thing to hear. Did he die well? Death at my hand was his final aim. He wanted the glory of a bloody end. An end you did not deny him. With Ivar gone, peace and quiet are now possible. If that is something. I will console myself for the thought that we will meet again in Valhalla. Axe in hand. For good or ill, he lived life by his own rules. What man can say better? He lived his life at cross purposes. I often found him strange and his actions puzzling. But not all men are meant to be understood. He needs a proper farewell. I will prepare a ship for his funeral pyre. Bishop, send word to Lady Angharad. Say that her husband died by treachery, and that Ivar has paid the price for it. As soon as I am able. Have you heard from King Chaelwulf? I cannot imagine his grief. He is felled by it. Still, he makes plans for this shire. I am to be elderman here. Therefore, Shropshire declares herself your friend and ally, and will remain so for the length of my days. I'm grateful, Bishop. God go with you, Eivor, wherever you may lead. One sails into a singing glory of the flaming water steeds. Wind across the water. The battle maidens beat their wings to carry a king to Odin's hall of corpses. Ivar gone. Shirapshire an ally. I should confer with Randvi.
Good day. We are allied with Shirapshire, but at a grievous cost. Young Chelbet was killed. Yes, my scouts told me. Such a tragic death for so dubious a gain. I hope you paid his killers back in kind. Justice was done. Chilbert will be remembered. He was good company in the short time he was with us. He was. want to see the Alliance map. Tell me more about Kent. Basim has written, claiming to have found the woman Fulke and asking for your aid. He has taken shelter at St. Hadrian's Priory. Any news of Sigurd? Nothing he mentioned. But if he has found the paladin Fulke, Sigurd cannot be far behind. I will go as soon as I can. Good. Basim has news of Sigurd. I should find him soon.
I feel great. What I mean to say is, faith is paramount. Yes, for without it, Christ's sacrifice means nothing. He died to save us, did he not? From the original sin of Adam and Eve? Yet evil persists. Yes, evil persists, because he gave us free will. Does a newborn babe, slain by a despot, have free will? Yes. No, I mean, that is too simplistic. Or the priest, whose heart is torn from his chest by the wolf? Judas, who was predestined to betray the Nazarene? Uh, some argue Judas was used. Do my ears deceive me, Brother Hortbert? You question the scriptures? Declare Judas an innocent? A preposterous blasphemy! No, no, uh, that is not what I said. <laughs> Brother Cedric, am I not the most pious of his servants? Out! Out! Making new friends? A person's tongue gives you a taste of their heart, Eivor. And such information is often useful. And how do these sallow Christians taste? It was only a figure of speech, Eivor. And I have tired of it already. Is this how it must be between us? Of course not. I'm grateful that you have come. So what of the Joy Kanga Fulke? In your message, you said you tracked her to Kent. She is here somewhere. And as of last month, Sigurd was with her. But there is no guarantee this will be the case tomorrow. So, what is your plan? We are deep in their god's heartland. A heathen and a heretic. To hunt Fulke, we'll need a Christian snare. Fulke is hardly a saint herself. These Christians abhor her strange ideas. True. But unlike us, she can carry herself as one of them. She won't hide from everyone. Not with a prisoner in tow. So? Where to begin? I've made a friend, Abbot Cunibert, full of pious fire, but with ambition that far outweighs his wit. And what does your friend Cunibert know? Come, I will introduce you, and we'll... Have you found some peace in your time alone, Basim? I am always at peace, and never alone. I move among the people of the world with great joy. I watch them, study them, learn from them at all times. This is our duty. The Hidden One's calling. You know, for the first time since we've met, you sound more like you're a princess than yourself. <laughs> Surely Hytham sounds like me, if I have taught him well. Your creed and your tenets, you mean? That's right. And our sense of, how should I say, deep responsibility 
to the betterment of mankind. That's quite an ambition. But it doesn't explain what you see in Sigurd. My brother is not so generous. Ah, but your brother is someone special, important. And I want him to see that. I hope to show it to him. Is this not a blessed plot? God's own country. And this Eden should be given to his servants to tend. Abbot Cunibert, this is the Norse I spoke of. Ah, yes. And quite a fearsome one at that. Bassam says you know the paladin Fulke. Indeed. The Lady Fulke passed this way not more than a month ago. We talked, we drank. Very pleasant woman. And where is she? Eivor will be your axe, Abbot. Whether to fell a tree, or hew the limbs from an enemy. What have you promised him? Oh, just a trifle, Eivor. A little problem I believe you can help me with. If you know where Fulke is, do not rattle my bucket. Tell me now, and we'll talk terms later. The hot-tempered one stirs up strife, Basim. Will this rebellion cake Dane do what I ask? Let's cut to the point. What favor would you ask in exchange for Fulke? Some weeks ago, our elderman in Kent was called to God. A terrible loss. King Alfred has chosen his replacement, but has not yet announced the name. I must know it. Now. All of Kent will see soon enough which Thane has chosen. Why not wait? I want early access. To woo him before his exalted position is made public and every fool is at his door. Who else knows the chosen man? The king's emissary. Sent with a letter of congratulations to the new elderman. Intercept him and bring me the news. When I know the thane's name, we'll discuss how I might win his favor. Why not kill him in secret and petition Alfred for the seat? As a man of God, I cannot. Besides, he who stands behind the throne can better pull on the puppet's threads. This emissary, how will I find him? Tunbridge Monastery sent word that the King's men always pass a few nights in their hospitality. Begin there. I'll get the Elderman's name. You find Fulke. All in good time. Now, if we're done, I have business up the south coast. Falconston has the best fish in Wessex. Then I will find you there, when the Elderman's name is mine. Cunibert is ambitious, but well-connected. We will not find Fulke without him. I suppose we'll see. What will you do? I'm not done playing with these Christians yet. I will see you at Falconston.
und vollendet Tschel. Wäre ihr Bruchte ein Braschida trafen, bestackend und ihr Tukot. Das wurde dann der Ostre Bihit Bunde. Wer war das Hände? Wie das aus Helja Wäck? Wie hin hat? Alfred's emissary spent a few days here. Someone may know where he went. You're not welcome here. Stay away from me, stranger. I'm busy. Leave me be. I'm in no mood for wind belching, so choose your words well. You choose your words well. What do you know about Alfred's emissary? Of course I do. I'm apprenticed to a famous flighter, the silent monk. Challenge me for it. You'll call me word crusher. Your wits I will addle. Hey? All right. You bested me. Alfred's emissary. Where? Him and the Bard ended up in a copse by the bridge doing Lord knows what. Sounded like they were murdering a cat. Singing? If you say so. Are you sober enough to answer me? You have fine hair. It shimmers like woven silk. I don't have time for flattery. I seek Alfred's emissary. The only man of Alfred's I know is Orvin the Legless. <laughs> Haven't seen him in years. Probably dead drunk or just dead in a ditch. Why do you think they call him Legless? Because he has no legs. <laughs> He's a figure of speech, naughty heaven. Oh, so He's a... I'm looking for someone, an emissary from Alfred. Have you seen such a man? Cool, la di da If you would rather feel the edge of my blade, it can be arranged. Yeah, that I respect! Forceful, to the point! You're a strange fish. Did you see the man or not? I did. He was getting pie-eyed with that barred gown and causing quite a ruckus. They left together. See? That wasn't was hard, was it? Harder than it should have been. There was a bar to drinking with the emissary. I should find him. See if he knows anything. Swamp 
Admiral Scott can't have gone far. You there. You're alive. Patience is a tired horse. Prodigy plod plod. Another tottering teat sucker who can't hold his drink. Let's clear your head. you sing of, Bard? Stern of eye and scant of mercy. Have you not seen the ravens feasting in my wake? Enough! Your word mangles are making my hair ache. You and Alfred's emissary were drinking in the tavern. Tell me where he went. Were we? I was so ale-addled. Perhaps a small and silver thing upon my palm might help me recall? How about something long and sharp in your gut? All right, no need for that. You paint a vivid picture, Dane. He was headed to the white coast to the southeast, Dover Fortress. He said it is where they train those religious fanatics, zealots. They pray all night instead of sleeping. My thanks. And in return, wisdom. Too much beer bibing will grow a fool in wit and words. My thanks. Dover Fortress on the southeast coast.
The emissary is somewhere here. Perhaps I can find the letter without bloodshed. The Bard said Paladins trained at this fortress. This will not be an easy fight. Show me what lies ahead. attack on site here. Stretch your wings, Suna.
need your eyes, my friend. If I could steal the letter without killing the emissary, it would keep me out of trouble. Carry the king's word, but there's no hand to put it in. Said he was elusive. What am I to do now? Let's keep our wits about us.
Chosen Elderman is a thane called Tetmund. The Abbot Cunebert will want to know. I should meet Basim and the Abbot in Falkenstein. Kent's new elderman will be Thane Tedmund. Tedmund? Oh, the Lord is testing me. He is made mouse by you Danes. Barely leaves his fortress at Rue Sister. How might I gain his influence if he will not speak to me? Or to anyone? It is a puzzle. To inspire loyalty, Tedmund must owe you something. Such as his life. Go on. A fortress stormed, a man kidnapped. If you beat back his enemy, saved him from sure death, his gratitude would... Swell. It would know no bounds. But that fortress will be harder to pry open than a nun's knees. Perhaps, perhaps not. Are you hiding something, Bathon? There is a lumber mill nearby, correct? Bemisfield. Alfred invests much in fortifying Wessex, and uses our forests to do so. The mill provides his wood. Tedmund is there. Impossible! How do you know? I heard rumors that Tedmund had been lured out of self-exile to manage work on the fortifications of Canterbury. Taking him from a lumber yard is less dangerous than assaulting a fortress. But your rescue attempt will not have the same flair. Is it worth it? It may still work. Yes. Yes. Bring him to the megaliths. And Fulke? When I have Tebman's fealty, you shall have Fulke. Now go. I will rustle up a small rescue party. 
One more time, I'm telling you. If he says my boots are dirty or my hair needs combing, I'm splitting up. You're full of swamp gas. <laughs> I'm wary of this epic vessel. He is self-serving and evasive. Can he really deliver Fouquet? The abbot is a friend of Fouquet's. Yeah. That is clear. So long as he doesn't suspect our motive, we may have a chance. Indeed. This brings to mind a story. Perhaps you've heard of it. The Scorpion. A story. Perhaps you've heard of it. The Scorpion and the Frog. A children's story? A cautionary tale. The Scorpion wants to cross the river, but he cannot swim. So he enlists the help of the Frog. The Frog agrees to carry him on his back, extracting a promise that the Scorpion will not sting him. Let me guess. The Scorpion reneges, blaming his nature, and both drown. The Scorpion crosses the river and sting him. Bemisfield is just ahead. Lead. I will follow. If they see me, this will get messy. I hope this chase will catch us a plum pen. Once the other has tempered his attitude, he will deliver Fulcay. It will cost us nothing more than this. If that leaden wit keeps his word. Ah, you prefer to work in the shadows. Ah! 
Catawalling and you'll live. Live? Oh, saints protect me! Silence will save you, Tetmund. Silence, not your saints. <laughs> Flee, my friend. We have the man who came. Does this venture not take the blood ablaze? You don't prefer working in the shadows. And so we have. To steal a man, take him with swiftness, and escape without anyone on our heels. We hide in plain sight. Such is our way. But only until the moment of success, the final strike. I prefer to act and speak plain. Kings and lords who do not are often misunderstood. Yet, as a leader yourself, you cannot deny that subtlety and intrigue are a cloak you must wear. How many of your clan know the true circumstances of Sigurd's absence? Hmm. You see my point. A leader must know when to speak and when to stay silent. For silence is not always a lie. It can feel like. Danes, in the name of Alfred, King of Wessex, I demand you release his royal subject <gasps> into my care. Come no closer, Christian, else your man dies by my blade. Please, I I'm not the man you want. Keep your eye on this one. He'll be worth a hefty bounty. Any false moves and I will snip your heels. We have your man. Now let's finish this shadow play and be gone. Are you sure that's Tedmund? He's dressed as a lord, but that man is shorter and fatter than I recall. I'm not Tedmund. I, I, I'm not. I, I swear upon the holy rood, I, I am not Thane Tedmund. What in heaven's name is happening here? Who are you? Speak quickly, or I will slit your throat and leave you for the crows. Shurgar. I, I'm called Shurgar. Lord Tedman pays me a measly coin to serve as his double. Brother Shergar, you are far from Augustine's priory. Uh, I left the cloisters many moons ago, Your Holiness. The monastic life was not my calling. We can use you yet, Shergar. Summon Tedman to a meeting. Get him out in the open. Tedman has no care for me or what I have to say. My orders come by letter, never by mouth. I hardly know the man. You have no use to us, then. Perhaps I should just kill you here and now. No, no, wait, 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 wait. wait. Let, let, let me think, let me think. But, Danes, to, to storm the walls, you need Danes. There's a raiding camp west of here I was told to be wary of. I, acting as Tedmund, I ordered a band of soldiers to capture them. If you hurry, you may be able to stop this. If another band of Danes wants to join our assault, we'll have the distraction we need to get inside Rusester. If the Saxons don't slaughter them first... I, I am still Tedmund, the men in the field. I could speak with their captain, send his men away. It's a fearless plan. The Nordnia knit winding paths that cannot be unknotted. It seems Rusester was always in our path. Abbot, stay alert. We'll send word when we're ready to capture Tedmund. And this fool? He knows much of our plan. He'll come with us. And if he betrays me, I'll roast his balls over a roaring fire. <laughs> you will not regret this. My wily ways and quick wit will cease the need for bloodshed. I still might kill you yet, man. If your prattling doesn't cease. 
rewards for being Tedmund are rapidly diminishing. And how does one become a double? Are there vigorous challenges and tests to overcome? I was born with a misfortune. I was born with the misfortune of looking like someone else. I should have stayed on God's chosen path. Well, it took you from it. I'm the seventh son of a poor farmer. And not wanting another mouth to feed, my father gave me to the monks. The cloistered life did not suit you. I thought there would be great comfort in repetition, but instead I found nothing but prayer and backbreaking toil. The Norns weave strange destinies. Now your life depends on the story you weave for yourself. I am not a good forgery. Still tears bled in my hands, sweat, and I have a stutter when I'm nervous. But I will try. <laughs> ah. The cornerstone of all great art. The captain does not know Tedman well. If we keep our heads, he will not question my orders. I hope. We are too late. There is great horror here. Those who remain must be saved, whatever the cost. Let us approach the captain with caution. He drinks too much and does not need a reason to kill us. Yes, it is I, Thane Tedmund, coming to discuss the orders I gave to you not one day ago. This hammock will get us all killed. You will not see another sunrise, swine balls! Fight down, you dogs! You slaves of Kent now! address me in such a defiant manner. Do you not know who I am? You are Tedmund, as I've said. And I mean no disrespect, Lord, but I was told you were back in Rue, sister. Oh, yes? And, 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 and do I... Do, do I look like I'm in Rue, sister? You, uh, do not, sir. A wise man is always unexpected. You travel in strange company, Lord. An Arab and a Dane. I'm here to advise your thane in the ways of my people. That, that is correct. A cultural exchange of sorts. Perhaps one day I will visit your... Uh, Dane... Dane... Dane land. Norway. You mistake me for a foreigner. But are we not all just the measure of the places we've seen? Right. Well... That aside... Have you any further orders, Lord? Yes. Yes. I order, I order you to stop loitering and return to your barracks, you scabwit. And what of the captured Danes? You must kill them all! Every last... Sorry, no. Uh, leave them here, tied up, as a... As a feast for wolves and crows. That is all, you may depart. Shoot! A convincing ruse that has earned you your freedom. Go, and make your life anew, not in another man's boots. I will. This small sup of power has got me thinking. Perhaps I could be a l leader of men. Yes, yes! Hurry along, men! Warm thighs and ale awaits! Come on, you laggards! You have Tedman's orders tied up like animals. I need to free them. We owe you our lives, friend. These Saxon whore sons would have killed us all. Yes, they would have. And now's your chance to hit back. March with us on Rusester and drain it of riches. I will gladly, friend. But we few will not break those iron thick walls. And we have no allies in Wessex. None who could be called upon to attack their countrymen. Mercy, I will heed the call. Gidrich will provide our Viking a horde. We'll send a message to Oxenfordshire. The men of Mercia would gladly take a swipe at Wessex. What is your name, warrior? Runa Egelstotter. We need ships, Runa. We have a small fleet moored upriver, but a naval chain blocks passage to Rue Sister's walls. 
I will remove it, and your people will bring their ships. Now, gather these fallen weapons and armor. Giedrich and the men of Oxenifutshire will need them to hide their Mercian origins. My warriors were denied Valhalla today. I cannot bear the idea of gifting their weapons to more Saxons. Their sacrifice was great. Their gift will be all the greater. They will know justice with our victory. It will calm their restless shades, I promise. Will your men bring the armor to the battle? And what is our plan? In the morning, you will go to Buckingham, remind Giedrich of his promise. When you have his bond, meet me on the shore near Rusesta with the ships. Ah, but Cunibert must be warned in advance. He'll need time to muster his rescue party. Runa, that is your task. I will tell you where to meet him before you leave. All seems in order. At first new light, I will leave. Good. That gives us time to drink. You've traveled so far to carry out your duty. Is this the life of a dead one? Always on the move? No. Mine is not the usual path. The creed does travel. Our ideals are universal. We believe that. So there's nowhere you call home? No place I call home. No. Mid. <laughs> For me, home is family. But I have no family. No one? Not even hide them? Parents, brothers, all dead. I lost my parents when I was nine winters alone. Without Sigurd, I would have... I would have... There is always one unbreakable bond. Yes. Children. <laughs> They bewilder you. They can cause you so much worry. Fill you with joy. Even stop your heart. And if you're lucky, they replace you. I was not so lucky. I had a son. I miss him terribly. Even now. I am sorry, Asim. He was taken from me. By someone I trusted. A friend. A mentor. trust with anything. But a man you trust with anything can take everything. He took all I had. All I had. Rusesta will not be an easy nut to crack. Time to prepare. 